actually transform these things fundamentally. Hmm. Well, you've anticipated my next question was, what do we learn from this? If you go back through those crises that you were referring to in order, the financial crisis, Katrina, 9-11, we're in the middle of a crisis and we all say something has to be different. Something has to change so this doesn't happen again. What do you think we will learn from this as you look out over the horizon? It's interesting, you know, so uh, so one of the things we, we did, you, you know, I got my TV start right here with you on, on Morning Joe, and, um, you know, 95% of people who watched and tweeted were like, you know, you should get a haircut. 5% were like, you should get your own show. So <laughs> I was one of five, those. On those 5% won. So on, on this show this week, we, thank you, um, on this show this week, we actually dig right into that question of where do we, how do we go beyond this, right? Because we're all in this. But there has to be a beyond. And one of the, the fundamental questions to me will, is what's going to be our relationship to government, the idea of government after this? And, and we kind of look at it at three levels this week. There is a primordial American tradition going back to the founders of being freedom obsessed, even though we're a country founded on slavery and genocide, being freedom obsessed to the point that we are always so afraid of the government coming for us that we are blind to other types of threats, whether it's a virus, whether it's bank malfeasance or what have, climate change, what have you. Um, there's also a more, a, a more recent kind of 40 year version of this, which is the Reagan war on government, right? Government is the problem. That's not just an idea on the right. There's a hard version on the right. There's a small C conservative militant version of it. But there's also it, it has infected many people on the left in, in, in this passive sense that yeah, I believe in government, but I would never go work there. Or I believe in government, but, you know, I kind of don't like my taxes too high or I use, you know, trust in the Cayman Islands. Um, so, And then there's the more recent Trump era twist in this, which is the war on government becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You undermine government, you undermine it, you undermine it. You put someone who can barely read a sentence in government, in, in the figure of Donald Trump, and it becomes true that government sucks because you've made it suck by telling everybody it sucks. And I think the most important thing that could come out of this is realizing that government is not the biggest threat to our liberty. It can be a threat to our liberty, but we're threatened by many, many things. And what government fundamentally does is protect us from a lot of those other oppressions that we in America are often quite blind to. Mike Barnacle has a question. Mike? You know, 